Have you ever wished that your agent can stop and think before it does anything? Double checks its logic, making sure that it has all the information it needs. Most agents jump straight into action, which led to silly mistakes. But today I'm going to show you how to use NA10 new thing tool developed by NA10 as a result of a paper which published by recently talks about how to give your agent the thinking ability. These features will give your agent the ability to pause, review and make smarter choices before acting. So stick around. I'll explain how this is different to any other the reasoning model and when to use your thinking tool versus when not to use thinking tool. So before we jump into NA10 Canvas and show you how the thinking tool actually work, let's spend some time to go through the paper which is published by Anthropic recently. As you can see in the title of the paper, the thinking tool enabling Claude to stop and think in a complex tool use situation. So I'm not going to go through line by line, but just highlight some of the important area. What is a thinking tool? When you use thinking tool, we are giving Claude the ability to include additional thinking steps complete its own design space as part of getting the final answer. What it means by simply is that giving the giving you an agent a scrap paper to write down its thought before giving you the final output. So make sure that it checks everything what needs to be done and then gives you the, the final answer. While it sounds similar to extended thinking, it's a different concept. Claude also talks about that it's very similar to extended thinking, but the fundamental difference of between extended thinking and the thinking tool is extended thinking where Claude does all the thinking before you actually go and take action, where the thinking tool is based basically giving your agent the ability to stop and think as they're going through getting you that. It's not just thinking at the beginning, it's as the AI agent collects the various information and stop and think and then take the next action. You can have a look at this by yourself, just going to go through a bit down. So you can also see in this graph when they have done some benchmarking, the baseline is the blue, but when you add a thinking tool, immediately it's improved the performance of your age, of your model or the AI agent. Then you have the extended thinking on top of that and the think plus pro prompt overall you get the best results i'll link the description so you can read through this the other area i wanted to cover talks about this when to use the thinking tool when your ai agent dealing with complex like multi-step tasks like customer service booking approvals any scenario where a lot of business rule involved that's why you should be using thinking tool when your workflow require further strict policy or even action depends on your steps use the thinking tool you want more reliable consistent decision especially in the area where mistake might be very costly use the thinking tool and let's talk about when not to use the thinking tool for simple one-off action or straightforward automation where not much can go wrong just to summarize you'll be using thinking tool when there's a complex multi-step multi-tool calling agent that's why you, ideally you'll be using the thinking tool so let's see the thinking tool in action. Here's the NA10 canvas. If you're not familiar with NA10, jump into NA10.io, sign up an account and start playing with it. What I'll do is at the, by the end of the video, I will share the link of all this workflow so you can download it for free, import it into your canvas and start playing with it. So this is a very simple thinking agent. It's got a trigger. This is the thinking agent. It's got a model, which is I selected Entropic chat model. You can use other model. I do have a video where I go through every single model we currently have available in NA10 and when you should be using that and when you should not be using that. Um, link that video somewhere in here. This is the tool which is the thinking tool and that's the subject of our video today. So let's ask a question. So remember thinking tool, thinking tool is for something complex and not something very straightforward. So I'm going to give it a math problem very simple. So let's see does it the agent actually use thinking tool or not. So as you can see from the log, there's two ways you can check the log. So you can double click here, then go on the left log and you see the agent log and how the agent actually gives you the final answer. Or the other way you can look at it that it's already in here on the console itself. So if you look at here, so when the first we got the message, then then this is the problem. Sally has 12 apple. She gives the same amount of apples to each of our friends and she has none left over. How many apples did each friend get? Then what did it do as predicted is uses use the thinking tool to figure things out. It's very similar to your reasoning model, but it did it as if in as it going through the process and then it's finally provided you the response here which is each friend has four apples let's try one more let's try a few more as what what has hands but can't clap as you can see again from the log it predicted it's way it's used its thinking tool and give us the answer the answer to your riddle is the clock or, or watch the model got the question and then it talks about the riddle to find the answer then it will use this thing tool and then the thing tool said this is a classic riddle and asking about something that has hands but can't clap finally it figured out and gave the final answer let's look at one more this one is a bit complex so let's see it can figure out or not looks like it used the thinking tool let's use one more time 
by looking at the log, it's actually took four times. So the, the agents actually use four times the thinking tool to give, give us the right answer. So as you can see, it done a quite a lot of work in here. It figure out what are the constant, then it figure out all the various possibilities it can. And then it came up with the final answer. This logic puzzle has multiple solution with each valid arrangement representing a different way. The friends could be seated while meeting the given constants. And to do that, it actually went a few times. Looks like it, which is really good. If you're thinking of a practical example, when you should be using a thinking tool, a customer service agent for an airline, if a customer says that I wanted to change my flight, use my using my point, if possible, and add on an extra back. To, to come up with a solution to that, the agent must know the airline policy on changing flights. What the customer has, does the customer has actually has enough point? And are there any extra baggage fees? The agent needs to know all this stuff and being able to write down his thinking process. Like, first of all, go and get the airline's policy, write that down in a scratch pad, then go and check if the customer actually has enough points. And if the customer has enough point, obviously write it down, okay, customer has enough point. Then you have to go and figure out, does extra baggage cost any fee? If there are fees, then obviously again, using the thinking to write it down and then come up with a solution at the end. The next example I wanted to show you here, it's about obviously thinking, um, thinking agent, it's got tool calling it's a very similar setup to what we currently have it's got a sonnet 3.5 model thinking tool i can also give it a few more tools it's got an emailing tool contact tool and the web search tool let's ask a question what's the latest AI today and then email a summary there too first thing it needs to do is it needs to figure out what's the latest air news then in order to do the email it needs to hit the contact agent to get the email address and then use this email tool to actually send the email it looks like they haven't used the thinking tool oh it's finally used the thinking tool it looks like it's completed let me have a look at my email i have received an email with the subject latest ai summary and it's got two bullet point one is about 10 cents has made some progress about ai model testing and AI. apple has experienced significant leadership change in their key leader has moved to meta here you go meta is successful is poach on senior apple exec but okay let's go back to the log and see it only used the thinking tool just before it respond to the user it's basically writing itself to saying that i have searched the latest ai news using the web search found our email address using, using the contact tool send a concise email summary the key ai news point probably sign the email as after appropriate formatting in the email for readability all tasks have been completed successfully here you go and then get the final response that the email has been sent and i can see the email is there you, you just see the thinking tool in action now we're going to build one from scratch if you wanted to try for yourself download my NH and workflow the link will be there in the description it's free check out the article which is published by Anthropic, which will give you more details around the benchmark use cases and some best practices now you have seen how the thinking tool make your AI agent actually stop and think just like a real assistance you will get more reliable consistent and professional result in your business automation if you use thinking tool if you found this helpful hit the like leave a questions below and subscribe for more not good AI automation until then see you next time